All right, how's everybody doing today? We're gonna have a really good class for you today. I do miss lots of you that I normally get to see on a daily basis, but I know we'll be able to see each other soon and hope for everyone else out there that's taking this video, that you're enjoying it, it gets you moving. If you feel like there's anyone else that would benefit from this, please share the video. If you want, subscribe, that would be awesome as well. And um, so all we're doing is a workout today. At my studio, we do something called Rock City Boxing. It's a boxing program for people with Parkinson's, but this class can be done for anybody. Um, we're using only home equipment. Today, what you'll need is, you'll need six um, soups of, or soup, eh, six cans of something, soup, beans, whatever. And you're going to need an apple or one piece of fruit that we're gonna use for our warm up. So pause the video, make sure you have that equipment and we're gonna only use household items and do a nice one hour workout and have all sorts of things from strength, conditioning, to balance, agility. We'll even do some light shadow boxing at the end. So let's get on up, grab your piece of fruit and stand up. All right, so you're gonna hold the fruit with both hands out in front, feet hip width apart and we're just going to twist side to side. There you go, make sure you're standing up. Nice and tall, nice deep breaths in and out. Good, you're gonna hold your fruit in your left hand, swing it out, bring it across. Swing it out, bring it across. Make sure we're breathing nice and strongly. Good, let's switch over, bring that fruit over to the other hand, cross it over, Take it back. Make sure you bend the knees a little bit in the middle. Good. Get nice range of motion. Make sure those legs are nice and wide. Good. Take that fruit back into your left hand. We're gonna swing it up, bring it down, swing it across. And you can do this in a chair as well. I have a chair next to me if you need support. Whatever works, reach it all the way up from side to side, making a U with your arm. Make sure we're breathing. Good, let's switch over to that right hand, going up and down. Good. Enjoy the nice workout, perfect. Let's bring our feet together, take that fruit right in front of us. We're gonna reach it all the way up Bring it straight down in front of us. Bend the knees. Come back all the way up. So bend the knees as it comes straight out in front of us. And then reach all the way up. Make sure when you bend your knees, the hips go all the way back. Good, keep the feet together for this first part. Good, now you're gonna add a toe lift. So you're gonna come up high on your toes on the top. Bend down, weights in your heels. Up high on the toes, sink it back, weights in the heels. Make sure we're looking forward the whole time. Don't look down. Good, we're gonna do three more of these. All the way up, hold it. Back down, hold it. Up and down. Good, last one. Hold it when you're down here for five, four, three, two, one. Press through the heels, come up all the way tall. Get onto those tippy toes. Hold it for five, four, three, two, one. One, bring it on down. Arms by your side, piece of fruit is in your left hand. We're gonna take the arms out to the side, bring them all the way up, switch the fruit into the other hand, bring it all the way down. What's down here, switch the fruit into the other hand, and all the way up, switch and switch. Switch at the top, switch at the bottom. Inhale, look up, exhale, bring it down. Good, nice deep breathing. Open up those lungs. Now we're gonna add a little coordination. We're gonna lift the knee, switch it underneath. Arms go up, switch underneath, switch above. Good, keeping that body up nice and tall. Don't let the chest sink down. You can do this in the chair as well, just lifting, or you can just little lifts. Switch it down here, or as high as you can go. Stretching those arms all the way up at the top. Breathing. Let's do a few more. One, two, last one, and three. Good, let's take our legs nice and wide. Bend those knees. We're gonna take that piece of fruit and make a figure eight between it. 
like a basketball drill. Sway to your right and sway to your left. Fruits going all the way around, switching hands. Good, see if you can do this while looking up. You can get a nice bend of those knees as you go side to side, switch directions. Take those arms, reach them out nice and wide. Good. Nice deep breathing. And good, perfect. Let's hold that fruit. We're gonna hold it just into our left hand and we're gonna step forward with our right leg and we're gonna reach that left arm out, pull it back. So, we're gonna step out and reach, pull it back. Good, give it a nice little punch. Fully extend that arm, reach it out, pull it back, push that elbow back. Body stays up the whole time. Don't let your chest sink down. Good, keep going. We're gonna do four more. One, count them out nice and loud if you can. And throw them two, three, last one, and four. Still keep that apple or piece of fruit in your left hand. We're gonna just do a side step. We're gonna step out with our right leg, left arm goes up, bring it down. Out and down. Take a big step as you can. Good, keep that head up. Arm just goes out to shoulder level. Right leg steps as far as it can. Good, left arm out, right leg to the side. Two more, one and two, perfect. We're gonna switch. We're gonna take your piece of fruit in your right hand. We're gonna step forward now with our left leg as we punch. So, step forward with your left leg, punch with your right, pull it back, elbow pushes back out to the side. So reach and pull back. Reach out, pull back. Take as big step as you can. My torso is up nice and high. My chin stays up nice and high. Perfect. Left arms just nice and relaxed by the side. Make sure you're breathing. Push back, push back. Let's do four more after this. Ready, step one, step two, step three, last one, step four. Feet together, piece of fruit is still in your right hand. Let's step out with our left leg and lift our right arm and bring it in. Take the steps a little bit wider each time. Step, bring it in. Step, bring it in. Good. Really push off that left foot as you come back on in. Arm is only going up to shoulder height, no higher. That's it. If you can, you can do this in front of a mirror or have someone else watch you as you do this. And we're breathing. Good. Let's do two more. Step, bring it in. Last one, step, bring it in. Perfect. All right. We're going to do a little bit of balance exercise with our piece of fruit. We're going to take our left foot, bring it in front of our right. Heel toe. Piece of fruit is going to be in our left hand. We're going to take it out to the side. Now this way it gets a little tricky. You may have to stay your feet a little wider, but if you can, heel toe. We're going to look over at our left hand with a piece of fruit. Good. Now what we're going to do is we're going to follow with our eyes, keeping it on the piece of fruit. We're going to go up over our head. Look up at the fruit above our head. And then we're going to keep our eyes on the fruit as it goes over to our right side, still looking at it. Ooh, that's where the balance goes. And then keeping the eyes on the fruit, go up over the head and take it out to the side. Keep going. Eyes look at the piece of fruit the whole time. Making a nice arc with your hand. Really reaching it across as it goes up. You're really going to reach it up and you're going to take it out to the side. Good, let's do one more. Take your time. Feel those legs working. Follow, follow, follow. Go back up and out to the other side. Perfect. Let's do the other side. Right foot in front of left. Fruit is going to go into the right hand. You're going to take it out to your right. Turn your head, look over at your piece of fruit, 
and you're going to follow it up. Eyes are looking up at the fruit, and then follow it out to the side. Good. Shake those legs a little bit. Follow it up, and out. The more you do this, the more you're going to be able to find that balance. You're just training your body to find balance here. So let's do one more time. Keeping your eyes on it, standing up as tall as you can, feeling your feet pressing into the earth. There we go. And we'll bring it up. Slow, slow, slow. And perfect. Let's bring it down. You can put your piece of fruit back. All right, next what you're gonna need is a chair. So if you don't have a chair, go grab a chair, a kitchen chair, something preferably with outside supports. We're gonna do some core using our chair. So let's take our chair and we're gonna face it this way with the seat down. We're gonna grab our hands on the side of the chair. My back is gonna stay nice and straight. I'm gonna extend my right leg out behind me. My right hip's gonna stay nice and low. And all we're gonna do is you're going to bring your right knee in, and then you're going to kick it straight back. Bring that right knee in, and kick it straight back. You want to keep it up as high as you can. Bend the left knee just a little bit, and try to bring it as close to the chest as you can. Lift up, and in. Good. You want to really lift up, squeeze that right tushy muscle nice and tight, flex that back foot so you're trying to press against the wall behind you. Make sure that leg's nice and straight. Keep going. We're going to do three more, and then we're going to hold it out there. One, two, last one, and three. Hold it out there nice and straight. Good. What you're going to do is you're going to lift your left arm up. Right leg's back. Left arm's forward. Reach the right heel back. Reach the left arm forward. Keep that left knee just a little bit bent, and breathe. Good. Three. Two, one, bring it down. Bring both legs down. You're just gonna walk the feet back. Extend the arms out, get a nice stretch in your spine. Let those hips go back, let the arms go straight. Let the head relax down and breathe. Good, let's walk ourselves forward again. So our feet are underneath our hips. Our shoulders and our wrists are in the same alignment, so I don't want you too far back. Good, let's do the other side. Lift the left leg up, flex the left foot, lengthen your head away from you, reach your heel away from you. You're going to bring the knee in, pull those tummy muscles in nice and tight, extend it back like you're trying to kick against a wall behind you. Pull it in, kick it back. Keep that right knee bent a little bit, you don't want to lock it out. Keep those elbows soft, not locking those out as well. Good, breathe, inhale. Exhale. Good. We have three more here. Pull it in. Reach it out. Think about using those tummy muscles to pull it in as tight as you can. Reach it out. Last one. Stomach's pulling in. Reach it out. Hold it back out there. Just a couple little kicks up. Just keeping that leg straight. Good. Now what you're going to do is really straighten that left leg. Reach that right arm forward through the fingers of the right hand and through the heel of the left foot. Keep that right knee bent. Breathe, don't hold your breath. My head is reaching forward. I'm not looking up, I'm not looking down. Let's take two more breaths here. Nice and slow. Don't rush through them. Last one. Good, take your hands on the chair. Walk your feet back. Extend your arms out in front of you. Shake those hips a little bit, get some length in that spine. Take a nice, slow, deep breath in. And side out. Perfect. All right, now we're gonna do our plank on our chair. You have the option too if you want, and there's some of you that really love the plank, you can come and do this on the floor. But we're gonna hold on to the chair. We're gonna take our feet back. My body is gonna be in one line. My tushy snack gonna be back, so. My wrists and shoulders are in the same line. I'm squeezing my thighs, and then I'm going to do a pelvic tilt with my hips. Keep the elbows a little bent so there's no tension going into the shoulders and neck. 
Relax the neck. Good, and breathe. Hold it here. If you feel your hips sinking down, pull them back up by pulling your belly button into your spine. Come up onto your tippy toes as you do this. Good, push down into the chair. Feel your arms working, but elbows are still soft. Breathe. Nice, slow breathing. Neck is in neutral, not up or down. Good. Now you have the option of always taking this a little bit longer or a little bit less based on your level. But let's just take a few more breaths. Let's take two more breaths here. You can do it. Don't give up. Breathe in and out. Breathe in and out. Good. Walk your feet forward. Let your arms extend. This time we're going to have our palms facing one another. The sides of the hands are on the chair. Hips go back. Get a nice little stretch in their shoulders. Let your head relax all the way down now. Breathe. Good. What we're going to do now is take just a little break, give the arms and the core rest, and we're going to take a seat in the chair. So make sure you're uh, not on a sofa chair. You're on a chair that's at your table, or if you have a folding chair, that would be really good. And make sure that the chair is always stable. It's not going to slide on the surface that it's on. All right, so we're going to do first sit to stands. Now, our feet are going to be hip width apart. Our knees are going to be parallel. So our ankles, knees, and hip are in the same alignment. If my legs are out here, that's not in line with my hip. So I'm going to bring them in. Two fists are going to fit in between my feet, between my knees, and the hands of my hips. All right? We want to keep this alignment as we go up and as we go down. First thing you do is just use your arms a little to come up and reach up. Use a little momentum and then sit back down. Good, so you're gonna reach up, lift up nice and tall, and sit back down. And you can even reach those arms back. So you're gonna follow your breath, inhale, and exhale back. And exhale. So make sure when we do this, we keep our weight in our heels the whole time, and when we sit back, we wanna sit back as far back into that chair as you can. Pressing through the heels, standing up as straight as I can, even look up, and go back. Reach them back. Good. We're just going to do two more this way. Inhale and exhale. Last one. Inhale and exhale. Perfect. All right. Shake out those legs. Give them a little pounding. Get those upper thighs going. Feel it on the lower legs. Two. Wake it up. All right. Perfect. So now what we're going to do is make it a little more harder. We're going to cross our arms over our chest for the next one. Feet are hip width apart, knees are parallel to one another. And one thing to watch on this one here, when it gets a little harder, be aware the knees tend to tip inwards, especially when we're sitting down. So I see this a lot. They come together and even like sit crooked on a chair. You're gonna look at your knees. If for some reason your knees start to do that, modify, put your hands on your thighs and follow them up. Keep them parallel the whole time. Otherwise, we're crossing our arms over our chest, keeping our chin up, Make sure you're nice and far back into your chair. Weight's in your heels. You're coming up and sitting back down. Good. If you've already done this one, you can start at wedding anytime you want and do a few extra. So make sure too, when you land, you land softly. Don't land too hard in the chair. We want to be nice and easy on our spine. Press through those heels and up. Slowly go down. Good. We're just going to do two more this way. One and two. Perfect. Again, pat down those legs, those calves. This time we'll take it, our hands in a fist, and we're going to pound our chest as we make it ah as loud as we can. Take a nice deep breath in. And go. Ah. Perfect. You can keep loud and screaming if you want. Next one. Check your feet, make sure they're in alignment. We're gonna reach our arms up. We're gonna to try to keep our arms in line with our ears the whole time. The tendency is when we do this, our arms sink forward. 
and also I see a lot of people end up bending the knees. If you have shoulder issues, modify and take your arms forward and keep them straight out in front of you the whole time. If the shoulders allow it, bring them up. Think about lifting that chest up. This one we're taking out the element of momentum. So we're gonna come forward, press through the heels, arms stay up, sit on back. Good, we're gonna try not to lose those arms on this one. Again, if the modified version, if the arms aren't here, they're straight out in front of you the whole time, don't let them sink down. So keep them up if you can the whole time. Good, through those heels. Good, let's do four more. One, legs should definitely have a little workout. Two, three, last one, and four. Good, take them down, roll the shoulders back. All right, we're gonna get that chair again, and we're gonna do another core exercise. Let's see, what will be the best position for you to see this? All right, we're gonna get in this position, we'll see how this goes. What you're gonna do is you're gonna bend your right knee. We're gonna take the right knee out to the side and bring it down. Take it out to the side and back down. The head is in neutral, you're gonna lift out and back down. As you see, I take the knee, it's still in line with my other knee. My leg doesn't go forwards, it doesn't go backwards. My knee touches, I take it out to the side, right where the, other, the knee is, and I bring my knees back together. My leg stays 90 degrees, my foot is flexed. So out and in. Good, out and in. Let's do three more here, and we're gonna hold the last one. One, two, last one. Three, let's hold it there. For five, four, three, two, and one. Bring it on down. Let's do the other side. I'm gonna turn my chair around so you can see it a little bit better. Good, hands underneath the shoulders. We're gonna bend the left knee at 90 degrees. We're gonna take that knee out to the side. Knee to knee, out, knee to knee. Elbows are relaxed on the chair, good. Out and in. My back stays nice and straight. My abs are in nice and tight. Working those hips and abs. Good. Let's do four more. One, two, three, last one, and four. We're gonna hold it out there for five, four, three, two, and one. Bring it down. Perfect. All right, we're gonna do one more in the chair. All right, we're gonna do single leg sit to stand. So it's gonna be more about of a 80, 20%. So we're gonna stand up with our left leg first more. We're gonna lift our right heel up. So we're gonna keep our weight in our left heel. I'm gonna press up, use my left leg to do most of the work. I'm gonna do 10 on my left and then switch and 10 on my right. So. Left foot's flat on the floor, right heel's lifted. You can use your arms however they want. This leg's doing most of the work. So we're gonna lean forward, press into this heel, stand up nice and straight, and back down. That's one, two, land softly, three, go, four, five, five more, six, Seven, watch that knee, make sure it stays stable. Eight, doesn't go in, doesn't go out. Nine, last one, and 10. Good, take a seat. Now we're gonna switch. Our right leg's gonna do most of the work, our left leg's gonna do about 20%. So, let's lift our left heel up. Good, and we're gonna focus on this leg doing the work. You're gonna keep your weight in your heel in this leg the whole time. Use anything with your arms. I normally take mine out in front of us. Let's use this leg. We'll press forward into that heel. Sit on back. That's one, two, land softly, and you'll find different strength in those legs. Good. Let's do five more. Five. If you need a little help, you can take your hands onto that leg. Four, three, good. Two, last one, and one. Perfect. 
All right, so we're done with the chair. Everyone take a little breather and a little break for some water. All right. Next thing we're gonna do is you're gonna need your six cans of something, preferably all the same size. I'm gonna set it up and show you. Okay, I'm gonna take the camera over so you can see kind of what I'm doing. All right, so I have six cans of soup and I put them about a foot and a half apart. I'm just gonna put them onto the floor anywhere you want. Now, if you have some balance issues, I suggest that you do this somewhere where you have a wall next to you that you can have one hand on the wall. All right, I'm gonna turn the camera around again so I can show you what we're gonna do. There we go. All right. So for first, first minute, let's see here. Make sure we can still see those cans of soup. Perfect. All right. So for the first minute, what you're going to do is you're going to step over the cans, one foot in between each. So I'm going to step in. If your feet are a little bigger, you can space out your, your cans. Lift up, step in the other. Step in, step in, step in, lift up and turn around. You're gonna do that for one minute. So I'll bring my camera over and I'll do it with you. All right, let's start that first minute and you'll find your spacing. Step in between, go. If you haven't gone yet, there we go. Step in and try to stay on the same line as the cans and then turn around. If you want, you can space them out a little bit more and run through them and do it as a speed drill, or you can take your time, working on a little more balance. Keep going. I'm just gonna hang out here while you do this, watching those soup cans. Hello. All right, keep it going. As you do this, let's keep our posture up nice and tall, keep our chest lifted. Use your eyeballs to look down. So we're not going to be putting our chest our head looking down the whole time, messing with our posture, keep it up. And that's it. Moving nice and slow. Good. You have another 10 more seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Perfect. All right. Next drill we're going to do is let me get you in the line for the cans. Is we're going to just take them out, space them just a teeny bit wider. So you can be able to put two feet sideways in it. So we're going to do we're going to go sideways through that. So we're going to step up and in between each. Try to stay in the same line as the cans. Up and over, up and over, up and over, up and over. Good. And let's do that for a minute. I'll come on over and we'll do it from my point of view. All right, go ahead. Minute starts. Just pick a side. Side step. There you go. Good. You want to be nice and careful to lift those knees up nice and high so you don't step on your soup cans. And again, you can do this by a wall if you need to. Good. Keep it going. You have another 30 more seconds. Lift them up, step it over. Keep it going. Good. If you lose track of that line, always come back to the line with the can. Sometimes we end up going forward, away from the cans, and step over them. Good. For five, four, three, two, and one. Perfect. All right, so the next drill we're going to do with the cans, let's see if they're in the line. All right, there we go. Perfect. We're going to snake through them. So we're going to start. We're going to be facing this way the whole time. We're going to go out the side and go zigzag in between them. 
outside of this can, stuff the outside of this can, outside of this can, and around. So I'm going to bring the camera over here so you can see it with my feet as well. Okay, so I'm going to start on one side of the can. I'm going to step to the other side of the other can. Then I'm going to step to the other side. So step out. You're going to step next to that can and next to that can. I'm going to go around. Start here. Step. Step. And you can do this fast. This can be done running. Good. Go ahead. Start that minute if you haven't already. I'll show you the variation where it's a little bit faster. You just pick up whatever one you want. If you're running, you can zigzag in between these. And just keep running around them. Or you can walk, whatever way is best for you. So keep that minute going. I'm gonna come back over here so you can see my feet as I do this, just in case. Side step, side step. Good. And turn it around. Good. Whatever pace, if it gets easier, you can add the legs a little bit and walk around to this side. Good. We're going to keep that up for another 20 more seconds. Nice big steps out. Walk around. Perfect. Keep it up. Another 10 more seconds and I'll show you the next one. All right, perfect. All right, so the next one we're gonna do is we're gonna do that same drill, except we're gonna do it sideways. So we're gonna start on the side of the cans. We're gonna go behind this can, in front of this can. Behind this can, in front of this can. Behind this one, in front. Then we're gonna go around to the back of this one. So in front, and back. 